Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. My hair's a little cray cray. We're gonna have to get it up out of our face in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna share this to my Glitz and Glam group. We're gonna get a few people invited as you hop on. Give me a hashtag, hello, beautiful. Feel free to click that button in the bottom corner. Once you do, give me a hashtag glam. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Let me know how your day is going. So I'm just gonna go through here, invite a few people. All right, so today's live, we are gonna be, I'm gonna show you what you missed out on if you did not grab Pella 8 when we brought it back. She is way prettier in person and my secret Santa purchased this gift for me and I am forever grateful because I really wanted this palette and she is so beautiful. And I know that oh, if you guys just had it in your hands, you'd be like, yep, you're right. She's gorgeous. So um, I'm going to be doing palette eight on my eyes. And if they bring this palette back, I don't know if they're going to, but if they do, because I need to email support and say, uh, we need to bring this back because all my people need it. Uh, palette eight is definitely a palette you need. I don't care. I don't care. It may be a little scary, but it is so gorgeous. So gorgeous, and you're gonna be so sad that you didn't grab it. I'm telling you, wait till you see this look. Just wait. All right, so um, what foundation should we use today? What foundation should we use? Do you wanna see, we did liquid the other day, so should we do sticker spray foundation today? What do you guys wanna see? It is like really rainy at my house. It's horrible. I am not going nowhere today. It's 90% chance of rain literally all day. So I'm not going anywhere. All right. So I'm just getting a few people invited and then we're going to get started. So we are doing palette eight today, which is a palette that we brought out for one of our black Friday bundles. And she's gorgeous. Right now, you cannot get it, but hopefully, they're going to bring her back. Okay. Hi, Tanya. Whoops. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I think we're going to do spray foundation today just because we're doing all the things today. We are doing all the things. All right, I'm going to pull my hair back. And then as you hop on, give me a hashtag, hello, beautiful. Feel free to click that button in the bottom corner, and once you do, give me a hashtag glam. All right, so we got the hair pulled back. We're gonna we're gonna rock and roll. All right. So let me show you guys palette eight. Oh, she's so beautiful. I'm telling you, pictures do not do this palette justice, and Facebook is probably not gonna do this palette justice. But if you did not grab this palette, you are so missing out because she is way prettier in person. Okay, let me show you. Are you ready? Look how gorgeous, okay? I don't know how this color is showing on your end, but this is like the perfect hunter green, okay? We're not gonna use this color today um, because I want to go live possibly on Monday and show this color again. Today, we're gonna be doing these colors over here. So all of these colors, okay? So the only two we're not using today are these two. I wanted to try out this color um, so we're going to be doing all of these today and then if I'm able to go live this weekend I will and we'll we'll try these two out but I totally want to like dip into all the yellows and this is like a deep mustard yellow this is a gold color and then we've got this really pretty um, like orange tone color this one reminds me of lively that we used to have and then this one is like a um, kind of like a Merlot or some type of shade. It is, it's just so pretty. So this is palette eight. Um, I also love the new packaging. They made it thinner, but you still get the same amount of eyeshadow in here. So this is palette eight. It is not available right now, but I'm telling you, once I do this look, if you fall in love, you need to message me because I'm going to take, or I'm going to take a pre-order list of people that want this because if I see that they bring it back I'm going to email that or I'm gonna message you all get payment and I will place the orders for you do not miss out on this I'm telling you we brought it back but I'm hoping that they come back out with it again because we didn't sell out of it 
This is gorgeous. You all need to add this to your collection. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. It's, it's beautiful. All right, so we're going to go in with spray foundation, but first we're going to get some of our, um, I'm going to put that between my legs today because I don't want to show the girls off to you guys. So spray foundation, we'll do the face and then we'll come back to the eyes. So if you're excited about palette eight, give me some hearts, show me some love. Also during this live, I want you guys to ask me questions. Any questions that you want to know, like, where am I from? Um, if you have business related questions, any questions, I want you to ask me questions throughout this live. Um, just comment them below. And if this is your first time watching, if you'll click on my face and click that follow button, then I'll be able to see your comments. Okay. So go ahead and do that for me. Tag your friends, invite your friends if you want, but let's have fun. I want you guys to ask questions throughout this live so I can answer them and so that we can get to know each other a little bit better. All right. All right. So I'm taking our spray foundation. In the shade tool by the way I have a huge listen if you're my VIP people I have a huge huge flash sale going on this month so if you need anything you need to you need to be like comment below flash sale and I'll send you a message okay if you would like to know all the details on my flash sale just comment below flash sale and I will send you a message I have amazing things on sale only through me, not in, not on my website. It's just through me. And um, they make the perfect gifts. Perfect gifts. All right. So I'm just blending this out. And if you guys can hear the rain, I apologize. So someone asked me a question because I'm not seeing any comments. And I don't know if the comments are working. So if you can ask me a question so I can make sure... That's working, because Facebook's crazy sometimes. All right, I love this spray foundation. Did you see that huge, like, bump that came up? Mm hmm It's almost that time of the month. And it's covered up, because this stuff is amazing. I swear by spray foundation. It is my favorite. You guys know it goes on as a spray, um, but it dries down to a matte finish. And it's transfer resistant, okay? Meaning, like, if you rub up against somebody, it's not going to come off. Now, if you put pressed powder over top of this foundation and you rub up against someone, then your pressed powder is the one that's going to be kind of coming off. But, the, but this will not. And I love this foundation because it is full coverage. Love it. Hey, girl. Thank you for commenting. I wasn't sure if the comments were working. So... Go ahead, you guys. If you want to ask questions, ask away. I don't mind. That's why I was like, maybe we should do a Q&A while I'm live today. All right. Spray foundation is on. I'm obsessed. I can't get enough of that. Gosh, I love our spray. So what is you all, what is y'all's favorite foundation that you have tried from me? If you have bought foundation from me, which one is your favorite that you've used? And hands down, my favorite brush for all foundation. I use this brush for every single foundation we have, even BB cream. It's so good. It's just, it's the perfect brush. Okay, so spray foundation's on. We're going to go ahead and take our brand new concealer, which hands down is the best concealer I've ever used. Just saying, I love it. And what I love about it is it's so easy to apply. You can blend it out with your finger, but I like to blend it out with a brush. So I just take it and I like to use a lighter shade to brighten up the under eye. And then I just take it and blend up. And this is going to make it look like I have my face is like lifted up. Spray and BB cream is your favorite? Yes, girl. Are you traveling for Christmas? No. Um, so what we are doing, my brother and his girlfriend and their kids are coming here the weekend before Christmas. And then we are also supposed to be doing something with my sister-in-law the weekend before Christmas. So I don't know what we're doing, but we're going to try to work all that out. Um, anyways, but on Christmas Day, we do not travel. I have kids. I like to stay at home. I don't like to travel for Christmas. We like to be at home. Now, as our kids get older, we have talked about maybe going up north and renting like a cabin or something like that for Christmas or maybe for New Year's or something, just so that my kids can experience snow, because we live in Florida. My kids, my daughter has seen snow, I think, one time in her life, and that's it. 
So, and Asher's never seen snow. So, we would like to do that one maybe when they get a little bit older. You guys, this concealer, shut the front door. Like, it's so good. Now, this is one product I don't have on sale right now only because I'm not, I can't put it on sale. Um, they don't allow us to do a discount because this is a brand new product. So, this is not on sale, but it's worth every penny. It is so good. You can use a lighter shade or the same shade as your foundation to conceal and get rid of the dark circles and all the things. You can also get a darker shade and contour with it. You so it's so good. You can clean up your brows with it. You can use it for eye primer, like all the things. It's just so good. And I do put it on my eyes just to even out all of that. Also, which brush is that one? Your favorite foundation brush, the Kabuki brush. And I do have it on sale. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Lily. Hi, Addie. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Bradley. Welcome, welcome. But I use a lot of pressed powder, too. Do we have to pick one? No, you don't have to pick a favorite foundation. Because I love the pressed powder. The Here's my favorites. Actually, I love them all. Really, I do. For all different reasons. In the summertime, I love BB cream. If I'm going to the pool or the ocean or whatever... I use BB cream because I don't, if I'm going out on the boat or whatever, we don't, I don't need a lot of makeup on. So I'll use just BB cream. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, all year round, stick and spray are my go-to. Um, spray is my, okay, spray foundation is my absolute favorite, but I just like the way that it looks on my skin. Um, it is my absolute favorite. It never lets me down. I love it. And I love the fact that I don't have to use a pressed powder on top of it if I don't want to. And most of the time I don't. So that's why I love the spray. I just It just looks so good on my skin. Can't watch all. Just wanted to say hi. No problem, Lily. I know you're at work, girl. Okay, so now we're going to go in and take setting powder. I do have setting powder on sale, by the way. If you're needing a refill on it, I do have it on sale. Um, setting powder is a must have. I don't care if you're dry, oily combination. I don't care if you're using any kind of makeup on your skin, you need to be using a setting powder. So also what I wanted to say is you need to be using a primer too and a good mask like exfoliating mask. Every single person needs to be exfoliating at least once or twice a week. Okay. Because I get all the time, Serena, my makeup doesn't look as good as yours. Like it's splotchy or it looks like it's coming off. Blah, you know, okay, well, that's a skincare problem. We need to take care of your skin first. And then your makeup's going to do the job that it needs to do. Okay, it's not the makeup. It's your skin. So if you're not exfoliating once or twice a week, I need to get you my exfoliating mask. Okay, and it's on sale. I have it on sale only through me. Um exfoliating your skin is a must have whether you're oily dry combination okay that is the one mask that i always tell people they need that one and the charcoal detox mask because that one takes the imp impurities the, the nastiness out of your skin and leaves your skin really nice and clean for when you go in with your makeup and stuff okay so those two masks are must haves in my opinion and if you can only get one i would start with the exfoliating there's a hair somewhere, I see it. I would definitely start with the exfoliating because that mask has changed the way my skin looks so much. So, and then you have to use face primer. Your makeup is not gonna last. It's not gonna look as good as it needs to look without a face primer. I'm sorry, you cannot skip out on face primer, okay? And we have hydrating and mattifying. If you're oily, mattifying for sure. If you're if you're really, really, really dry, the hydrating, or if you're like me and you're kind of in between, you could use both. And you can even mix both, okay? I haven't found my niche with the spray. Can't get it quite right. This That Kabuki brush, if you don't have it, grab it, spray it on there two to three times, mini sprays, and then you just dot it, pounce it all over. I always do half of my face at a time, and that's what's helped with, with mine, okay? I'll go back and look. Okay. Tanya, if you need me to send you pictures of anything that I have on sale and stuff, just let me know. Okay. All right. So we're going to go in with a darker pressed powder. And this is so that I can contour and add a little bit of dimension to my skin. If you need a good contour shade, just message me. Depending on your um, skin tone will depend on what shade I would recommend for you. 
Um, this one that I'm using is Chanel, but we are out of this one. So I would probably pick Jacquard, which is our other pressed powder. Um, but like I said, if you're looking for a good matte contouring shade, just message me. I have, I have these on sale too. Even though I didn't post about it, I do have this on sale. I just forgot to post it. But we are very slim when it comes to our pressed powders right now because we are repackaging them and making them new. Um, and they're coming back out in 2021. So just be patient with us. We are going to be bringing all the shades back. Um, they're just getting everything repackaged. And I'm excited to see the new design and all of that. I like to use my rose water before spray too. It goes on even for me. So that's a good thing. So I use Tanya. Here's another thing. I use setting spray before I ever put anything on my face. So after I wash my face in the morning, because when you use skincare at night, you need to make sure you're washing your face because any of the oils or anything like the serums and stuff that you put on your face will actually break down your makeup if you don't take it off in the morning. So you need to make sure you're washing your face in the morning. And then, um, which is our cleanser, and you get to pick the boosters in that too. Hi, Sylvia. So cleansing your face in the morning, then do your rose water, and then you can do your daytime cream if you want. Okay, and then you wait a little bit, and then you start the makeup process. So what I do is I take my setting spray and do my setting spray, let it sit for a couple minutes, and I do this off camera, that's why you don't hardly see me do it. And then I use our face primer, let it sit for a minute or two, and then I go in and spritz my face with either rose water or setting spray again before I do my makeup. So try those tips, because that does help. Um, I swear by our setting spray and rose water, they're both amazing. All right. So, spray foundation, though, is so good. Once you get used to doing it and, like, finding what works for your skin, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. And my son is outside, and it's raining. He's on the back porch, though. Asher! And he's got his brand new shoes on that he's supposed to... We're going to see Santa tomorrow. And he's got his brand new shoes on. Hold on, you guys. Asher! Asher! You are not to have those shoes on out here. No, sir. Give me those. You're wearing those tomorrow to see Sam. No, you're getting them dirty already, son. You're not to be outside. Get your butt in here. Come on. It's raining. It is raining. Get in here. You can go play on the back porch. You're not going outside. It's raining. No, sir. Sorry, you guys. He is not happy with me. Hey, if you go out there, you have to stay on the porch. It's raining. All right, you're going to get sick. When Daddy gets here, you're going to be in trouble. Whew, you guys, terrible threes. Hear that? Thank you for tagging some people. You guys are awesome. So during this live, I want you guys to ask me questions. It can be about me, my life, my business, anything you want to think of. Like, whatever you want to ask, just ask away. Setting spray is awesome. I do love the stick foundation. The new concealer. Girl, the new concealer. Oh, my goodness. So good. Anybody that's not tried this, you need to order it. I'm just, trust me. I have fine lines, okay? And it does not accentuate those. It does not, like, rub off. It doesn't get crepey under there. I'm telling you. It's also got skincare built into it, which is so amazing. It's got caffeine, which helps over time when you use this product. It's going to help get rid of the dark circles. It's going to make that like start to disappear. Um, it's also got peptides and all kinds of like, it's got squalene or something else in it that helps with helping with the fine lines and pores and the wrinkles. I'm telling you, it's just, it's so good. It's packed full 
of skincare and I love makeup that has built-in skincare because I know as I'm wearing it throughout the day it's actually helping and benefiting my skin and all of our products are made with natural ingredients and we don't test on animals so three is so much worse than two I agree he is three and who girl <laughs> Girl, you have no idea. All right, so today we're going to use Seductive Blush. I love this blush. It's so pretty, pretty. Or no, we should not use Seductive Blush because of the colors I'm using today. Well, it's not going to matter, I don't think. Let's do Seductive. I like this color. See, when you have all these options, you're like, what should I do? So we're going to do Seductive. It's like a really pretty, um, oh my gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a mauve pink. That's what it reminds me of. Like a mauve pink. It's so pretty though. And I just do right up here. Right beside where I did my contour. By the way, you guys. Bath and Body Works has their three wick candles on sale for $9.95 today only online. Or if you go in the store, it's all weekend. And I'm thinking about grabbing some because I, fun fact, I've never owned Bath and Body Works candles and I heard that they are amazing, amazing. So I'm thinking about grabbing a couple to try. And if you get a little cray cray with your blush, just take that powder brush that you were using with the setting powder and just go back and forth and it'll help even it out and blend it out. Hello, Priscilla. All right, you guys, so this is like, um, what is it? Q&A time. Answer, ask me questions and I will answer you. Whatever you want to know, like ask questions if you want to know stuff about Unique, the business. Sorry, I'm messing with my bralette that I have under this sweater. Um, you guys ask away. I'm here to answer all, all the questions. Okay, let's do some brows. And then we're going to do this really gorgeous eye look with palette 8. So I want to know... If you missed out on this palette and you want to grab it, I want you to comment below palette eight because if it comes back in stock, we did not sell out of it. So I'm hoping that they're going to bring it back because it's limited edition anyways and we're not going to keep this. This is a product that they made specifically for Black Friday deals and we did not sell out. So I'm hoping that if they bring this back, I can get some more of you guys to try it out. It's gorgeous. So this is what we're using today. We're going to be using all of these today. Not these two. We're going to use these two maybe this weekend. Or um, or I'll go live on Monday. Tomorrow will not be live. I have to take my kids to see Santa. So I don't know if I'll be able to go live or not. In the morning. So, hello, Marianne. Hello, hello. All right, so we're doing Q&A time today on this live. So, ask me questions, and I will answer those. It can be about the products. It can be about everyday life. It can be about my childhood, like, whatever you want to know. Be about my kids. Whatever. This business. Asher is back outside, you guys. I can't, he's a boy. I cannot keep him, like, from not going outside. It's, it just stopped raining, though, so he should be all right. Oh. Santa is more important for sure. Yeah, girl. And I always, so they're doing Santa a little differently. We always take them to Bass Pro Shop. My mom's going with me this time because my husband hates going. And like standing in line. And he's got a lot to do anyway. So my mom's going to go with me to help with the kids. But this year, because of COVID, um, you had to make an appointment. So normally you would just go into Bass Pro Shop, get a ticket, stand in line, and get your picture taken. Well, this year, they can't have so many people in line together. So you actually had to get online and make an appointment. So we have to go at 1245 tomorrow and the place that we go it's almost an hour away depending on traffic it's the closest bass pro shop but 
I don't care. I do it every year. They have really good deals on pictures. You get like this big bundle of pictures for like 20 bucks. So that's where we take our kids every year. And normally they give you like a free gift too. One year they gave us like a free um, photo frame to put the photos on. Um, I think one year they did like a snow globe to put a picture in. So I'm excited to see what they do this year. And they always give the kids like a candy cane. They have games that they can play while they're having to wait. So I'm kind of excited. I think I'm more excited than my kids are. Asher, the last um, two years, has cried when he's seen Santa. But this year, I don't think they're allowing you to sit on his lap either. I think that they're going to have like this plexiglass up. And then you they sit on a bench in front of Santa, I think is how they're doing it. So, I'm doing good. How are you, Priscilla? All right, so that's brows. We're good. Actually, no, we're not. Your girl didn't even... I like to comb the beginning of my brow out. So, let's let's just do that real quick. Priscilla, I absolutely love your haircut, by the way. You look so good with short hair. Aw, that's awesome. See, okay, I, I know, like, when people do photography, it's a lot of work. I get it. But I cannot justify spending like hundreds of dollars to get my kids to go take pictures for like an hour when I know that they're not going to sit. Lord have mercy. All right, you guys ready for this for, to see this palette? Do you do your own brows? Yes, I do my own brows. I have never had my brows waxed. I've never had them like anything. I've never had them anything. I do my brows myself. I tweeze them. Every now and then, I'll be very honest with you guys, I'm very lucky because my brows are so light, I hardly ever have to pluck them. So, and they're really thin and like you can't even tell that I have brows. That's why I do love our brow palette. So, if you want to see palette 8, give me some heart, show me some love because she's gorgeous. Look at her. All right, all the unique ladies that are on here, if you did not grab this palette and she comes back, you guys have to go get this. Like, it's so beautiful. So I actually had a sweet secret Santa that purchased mine for me. She's like, I already bought it. Don't go grab palette eight. And I'm like, what? Yep. So this was my customers. She is a sweetie. And I love the new packaging because it's thinner. It's not so heavy. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Yes. You already used it, Priscilla? Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. So what we're going to do today, we're not going to do the green today. I totally wanted to, but then I'm like, oh, I kind of want to use all the other colors, and then we'll do green another day. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Revived, which is this really pretty orangey tone, and we're going to start with that as our transition today. So we're going to take our Blending brush, and here we go. Are you guys ready? The This new palette, by the way, is not infused with eye primer. So, I'm not using eye primer because I just want to see how these colors are by themselves, just without primer. If you use eye primer, it's going to intensify the color more, and they're going to be a little bit more bold, like more colorful. So, I just wanted to see how they are by themselves so that you guys can see how pretty they are. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's swatch this, by the way. That's the color we're putting on. So this color reminds me of Lively, which is a color that we used to have. But this is so pretty already. I love this color. This is definitely a me color. Oh, Ashley, I cannot wait for you to get this girl. It is so much prettier in person. Uh, it's so much prettier. Like the pictures on Facebook that we had to use did not do this palette justice at all. It is so much prettier in person. And I wished like people would have just trusted me and grabbed this palette. Y'all are going to be so sad if it doesn't come back. I'm telling you. This is a palette that I can see myself using all winter and all fall and even in the summertime because you could do like the orange and the yellow this is a me palette i love these colors this is definitely i have been asking unique 
for more greens and they this color amazing it's called amazing for a reason because it truly is amazing is like the green i was wanting it is the perfect like hunter green in this palette i cannot wait oh, it's so pretty oh thank you marianne priscilla you do you're an actual photographer aren't you don't you do pictures so I have a friend that does them, but I always feel bad. Like, and my sister-in-law does them, but she's always so busy. Um, I love getting pictures done and stuff. My husband hates it, so we never get family pictures. We just always get pictures of the kids. Like, my daughter's in school, so we get school pictures every year. My son doesn't have a lot of pictures, unfortunately. My daughter, when we lived in Jacksonville, I had a friend that was a photographer, and I would babysit her kids for free, like, photo shoots because she loved my daughter. She thought she was a little, like, baby doll. And she always wanted my daughter to um, show off, like, boutique items and stuff that she had. So, my daughter was always, like, a little model. I have tons of pictures of my daughter when she was a baby. Asher, not so much. But it's okay. It's all right. All right, so this is that color. I mean, like, freaking, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I am so excited. A girlfriend does pictures, and for a baby shower present, she's doing my maternity photos and baby pictures when baby comes. Samantha, I did a huge flash sale two days ago, and it's still available. I don't know if you've seen it or not. A lot of kids were playing hide and seek. That's awesome, Priscilla. We have exactly one family picture. My little brother cried through the entire thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my son, you guys. He is all boy. All right, so what I'm going to do now is kind of clean this up just a smidge. And then we're going to go on to the next shade. All right, this color. This is pretty just by itself. Like, holy bejesus. All right, now we're going to take Upbeat, which is that m deep, like, mustard yellow. This one right here, definitely a me color. Love this so much. Um, God, this palette, you guys. Y'all are y'all are missing out. Seriously, you're missing out. And we're going to swatch it so you guys can see how pretty this color is and I don't have eye primer on my hand I'm just swatching look how pretty that is these colors are intense they're so intense that they're like staining my fingers you see that so they're good and pigmented like they're real good all right so we're gonna take our fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna take upbeat into the crease a little bit lower than that um, a little bit lower than the color that we just put on. So we're gonna take the yellow. And put it right in the crease, a little bit lower because I want people to be able to see the transition between the colors. Now you could also do the, the yellow first, this mustard yellow first, and then go in with the, the other color, the, like the the looks with this palette are endless. And this palette, if you didn't get it, I hope that it comes back. If you're interested in getting this palette, just comment below palette eight. I'm gonna put you on my list. And if I know that she's coming back, I will message you and get payment and then we will get you this palette, okay? Cause she's gorgeous and you need it. I'm, j I I'm being really honest, okay? This is probably Okay, palette six, the rose gold palette has been my favorite for so long, but I love this palette. Like, I'm not even kidding. And a lot of you are probably like, well, girl, I couldn't wear those colors. Yes, you can. Be I think the be beginning of January, all the bundles will come back. <gasps> oh, I hope so. I hope that that's true. Well, we have one bundle being announced today that comes out on Monday. Rose Gold Palette is my favorite. It is so pretty. It really is. I love Palette 1, Palette 6, and now this one, Palette 8. And like I said, like Palette 6 is still available um, while supplies last. We are not keeping our eyeshadow palettes like this. 
So if this is a palette that you want, you got to get it. I didn't hear that either, um, but that's awesome. If they come back in January, that will be amazing. You're hoping something or a new perfume. Ooh, I think one of the last two bundles is a skincare bundle. And here's why. Because Ben was on a live the other day. And he's all about skincare. And he said his favorite bundle has not came out yet. And he said that. He said his favorite bundle is one of the last two bundles. And he loves skincare. So I have a feeling it's another skincare product. But I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Oh my gosh, Samantha, I have the perfumes on sale. The dark purple one is my absolute favorite. Then I like the light purple. The blue and the yellow are good too. The only one I don't like is the red. But if you like, I don't know. It's kind of like Japanese cherry blossom, but more like florally than Japanese cherry blossom. I just don't like the red one. But all the other ones are so good. Very, if you like a very clean scent, the blue one. If you like like a sunflower scent, the yellow one. The light purple one is the sweetest. And then the dark purple one is just like a really like deep romantic. Oh, it's just, it's so good. The pur dark purple one is my fave. I love it. Okay. All right. So now let's take the gold, which is called Invincible. Okay. And we're going to put that on the lid today. So I'm going to pick up my angled shadow brush. Oh, I can't wait for this color. I'm so excited. And we're just going to pick this color up. And apply this to our lid. Now, I'm not wetting my brush yet or anything like that. With shimmer shades like this, you can wet your brush with some rose water or setting spray. And it will intensify the color so much. You can also apply it with your finger. I'll show you that. And apply it a little bit with your finger. Let's swatch it first. So there's that shade right there that we're using. Look how pretty that is. You can use your finger to apply it. And that really will intense the color too. Something about like the warmth from your finger intensifies that shadow. Look how gorgeous. Yes, please send that to me. I don't wear perfume. It affects my voice and makes it hard to sing. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't like big floral scents. Then you would not like the red one for sure. You're probably going to like the blue one, Samantha, because it's really clean. You might like the purple. I think you would. Everybody that has ordered the purple for me has fell in love. Okay, let's do the next eye with the with the gold. I'm so excited about this palette, you guys. It's just so dang pretty. So I'm not taking this color all the way into the inner corner because we're going to use that bright yellow that's still in this palette on the inner corner. Okay, and then again, we're going to take our finger and apply a little bit more. And that's just going to really intensify. You guys, this palette. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty. It is not scary. It is not scary at all. Hi, Mo. I'm showing off palette eight. Girl, you have to get this palette. If it comes back, you've got to get it. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. We have used this one, this one, and this one. We're going to go ahead and use this one in the outer corner. This one in our um, inner corner to, in, to really heighten up that color. And then these two, I'm going to use another day. But, girl... If you love eyeshadow, and I know a lot of you do, y'all have to get this palette if she comes back. So if you are interested in getting her, just comment below eight, and I will send you a, a message. I'll put you on my list. I'm not going to make you pay unless I know she's coming back. Um, but I'll put you on the list. That way, when I know she's back, you can grab it. Because she did not sell out yet. All right. So now we're going to take Profound, which is that... Um, I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush again. Profound, which is that mulberry color or Merlot color. It's just, it's, she's gorgeous. This is not like Fervent, by the way. Fervent is more red. This is kind of like nonsensical, but it's not. This is definitely a color we don't have or never had. Um, 
It's kind of like Fervent and Nonsensical Had a Baby, and this is the color. So this color is called Profound. I have, and by the way, all the names in this palette, our presenters actually came up with the names. So I actually said Amazing was one of them. Um, and Upbeat, I think, are two that I submitted. And I'm sure other, other people submitted the same ones too. So... But all the names of this palette were actually named. We we suggested the names for this palette. Um, normally, Melanie picks the names, but for this palette, she allowed us to pick the names for the colors. And I'm so happy. Joyful too. Nope, Joyful's not in here. Jovial. She picked Jovial. I didn't. I didn't say that one. But this palette. See how pretty this is. Holy smokes. Marianne, you're so sweet. Girl, I've been with Unique for five years. I better know some colors. <laughs> this palette, I don't know the colors. That's why I keep looking down because I keep forgetting the names. But I will learn them. This is definitely like Fervent and Nonsensical Hide a Baby. So Nonsensical is like a, a red tone brown. Fervent is like a um, deep cranberry color. So, and this one is like definitely the mix of the two, I think. It's so pretty. This is like a deep brick color. I don't know. It's just so dang pretty. I need to see what my son is doing, you guys. I hear him. You're lucky if you name your... I'm horrible with names for people, though. When it comes to makeup, I can remember the names, but... You'll tell me your name, and five seconds later, I forget. Unless I'm around someone for a while, then I remember, but... Like, my customers that are my VIPs, I know all of their names. And pretty much, I know all of their addresses without even having to look at them. Um, if they've ordered from me for a long time, I already memorized their address. I don't know what it is. I can do that, but when it comes to, like, meeting somebody and a group of people and then trying to remember their names, I'm not good with that. Do you see how pretty this is? Oh, my gosh. What is Asher doing? You guys, this palette is gorgeous. I mean, hello. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so for under the lower lash, Revived, which was that orangey shade that we used. It reminds me of Lively. And we're going to take it all the way. Almost all the way. We're going to keep this part open. I'm going to take Revived down through here. With the crease brush. By the way, I have a lot of our brushes on sale in my flash sale too. So feel free to ask me any questions. If you guys want to know anything, let me know. That's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm also going to take Profound, which was that shade that we just put on the outer corner just a smidge of it right here like a third of the way being a boy he is he's out there playing it was raining but it stopped so he's good oh my gosh i love this palette you guys like i might end up ordering another if they come out with this i may end up ordering another one so i have a backup because this palette is so pretty. And I'm not just saying that. You guys, I will. I am very honest with you guys. Hold on, you guys. No. No, sir. Oh, he's doing something to the window. Um. Yeah, I think he threw something at the window down here. And I just got on to him. He's he's good. He didn't break it, thankfully. He's coming in now. Because <laughs> I got on to him. I think he threw something at the window. Thankfully, it did not break. His daddy would be very mad if that would have broke. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my really tiny brush. I don't even know what I was saying a minute ago. When he did that, so sorry if I'm all over the place. 
and we're gonna take Wondrous, which is this really like bright yellow. We're experimenting today. I'm not going anywhere. I was gonna go send off some packages, but it is pouring rain today. And anytime I get out in the rain, I um I get sick. Seriously, anytime I'm in the rain. So I think I'm just gonna stay at home and then I can send off packages tomorrow. All right, so Wondrous is this really pretty. I need to swatch these other two for you guys so you guys can see it. So we're gonna take Profound first, which was that outer corner color. See that? See, it's like a it's like a brown red, but it is it's like a it's like a wine color, but like I don't know, like mulberry or something. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna take Wondrous, which is that inner corner yellow. You guys can see that. So see that one's brighter than this one up here. This one is almost like Gingerly, which is my favorite that they got rid of. But this one's more yellow, where Gingerly is more like peachy brown. So there's there's those. All right, did we get enough in the inner corner? Hi, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. So I'm using brand new palette eight. This is not available. It was only available through Black Friday, but I am taking names. If you are interested in this palette, if it comes back, then I'll have your name on hand and I can order it for you. But this is palette eight. Comes with a mirror and a lot of product. These are very pigmented. And we did all of these today, okay? We didn't use these two, but I will swatch those for you so that you guys can see it. My hair is crazy. Let me find a finger that's not been swatched because these colors are gorgeous. OMG. That's the other shimmer shade. Oh, it's like a deep olive color, you guys. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And then here's the green. We're gonna swatch the green. Oh gosh. This is my color. Are you guys ready? I'm telling you, this green is everything. Yes, yes. So good. I gotta get Asher back in here. Hold on you guys. Daddy's here. You better get inside. Okay. So there's this palette. It's gorgeous. If you want her, just comment below eight, the number eight, and I'll send you a message because when she comes back, you all need this palette. It's gorgeous. I mean, just look at it. She's so pretty. Okay. So on the bottom, let's see, for eyeliner today, I think I'm going to do dark brown or we'll do black. Let's just do black. We're going to tight line. Hi, Alicia. So this is palette eight. That was part of our Black Friday bundle. Um, it is not available, but I'm hearing that she might come back. So if she does and you want her, just comment below eight. Okay. This is so pretty. Look at all the swatches. She's gorgeous. Mm. Thank you, Secret Santa. I love it. Those two definitely complement each other. These two right here, we are definitely doing a look. And I'll probably add like this color with these two. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We are definitely going to be doing a look with the green. I have been waiting for a green like this to come out. And it's definitely like hunter green. On your end, it might look more teal, but it is a hunter green. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of black right there. I love it. I love this look. Yes, it does kind of look like a sunset. I wasn't going for that, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's so pretty. 
and they blend out so nicely. Oh, I love it. So nice. Okay. Then we're going to take our lash primer and 40. I have no idea what color to do on my lips, so we're just going to have to pick something. But we're going to do lash primer. You cannot skip out on lash primer. Have this on sale. I have a huge flash sale, you guys. If you want to know what it is, just comment below flash sale. And I'll send you a message. It's just gorgeous. Thank you. It is so pretty. So pretty. I love it. I can't wait to take pictures so that you guys can see pictures. Because Facebook Live, I don't know about you guys. When I watch videos on Facebook, like people's lives, I think Facebook does this like filter. Not really a filter, but it's like kind of like shadowy, if that makes sense. And then when you see people's pictures, you're like, wow, that like that look is gorgeous, right? Like it didn't really look like that on Facebook Live. You need to do an inventory sale. I just did a, I'm doing a huge flash sale. All right, so we're doing 40 today because I was like, go big or go home. We are doing the new palette, so we need the 40 mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It is my favorite. If you're looking for something that's going to give you lots of volume and length, this is the, this is the mascara for you, Okay. Now, if you're looking for more wispy natural lashes, the Twisted Epic is so good. And then we also have other mascaras too. Um, but this one, the Twisted and the Waterproof, I will tell you every single day, these three are my favorites. And you can also pair them all together too. You could do the Twisted, and then if you wanted a little va va voom, you can add the 4D on top. And then if you wanted it waterproof, you can always add the waterproof over top too. No right or wrong way to use these products. They're all versatile, so you can use them however you want. But you guys, I'm totally, totally obsessed with this look right now. I love this palette. I'm gonna be using this palette all the time. <laughs> I'll try not to use it all the time while I'm alive, because for those that can't get it, you're gonna be so, like, dang it, I can't get those. But on the weekends, I'm using this palette tomorrow when we go see Santa. I might even, I might even do the green and stuff tomorrow and tease you guys a little bit and then we'll have to go live and just do a live. I don't know yet, but I'm using this palette tomorrow because it is everything. All right, lash primer. We only did, one, that's one coat of 4D over there. I'm gonna do one more coat in just a second. Go ahead and add my primer over here so it can start to dry a little bit. You don't want it to dry all the way. I just let it sit for a few seconds and then I go in and put my um, mascara over top. I feel like when you let it sit for a minute, it gets a little tacky and then the mascara really sticks and it just looks better for me personally for my lashes. But if you like to go in right away with your mascara, then you do you boo. What color lip should we do? Should we do like a neutral lip? I would use a color that I know we don't have in stock anymore. It's one of my favorites. It's called Stoic, but you guys can't get it. But it would be really pretty because it's like a red tone brown. It's like a reddish brown, but I don't want to use that because you guys can't get it. Um... I'm thinking a neutral would be pretty though because we kind of went in with color on our eyes. Well, I thought his daddy was here. It sounded like he pulled up, but I guess not. If you ever get mascara on your face, just let it dry for a minute and then it'll come right away. Come right off when you wipe it away. Yes, baby. Okay. Daddy's not here? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Yeah? No car. Maybe he went out back. I don't know. Is he here? Does he have mommy's car? Yeah. Yeah? No. No car. 
All right, well, you don't need to be outside. It's been raining. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can be on the back porch. No. Asher. What, baby? Key. Where did you get that? You little stinker. You straight up stole my Twisted Epic Mascara. When did you get this? Oh, no, it was on that table, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mommy forgot it off there. Yeah, me. You brought it to me? I'm glad you didn't open it. Yeah. I forgot that when I take pictures, I have a little... Um, we found this really cool, we moved into our house, we kind of wanted it to be like beachy and stuff because we live right near the beach. And um, we went to an antique store looking for stuff to put in our house. And we found this really cool shelf that um, is made out of two ladders. And um, we had to have, it's like old and rustic and... And they painted it and like sanded it. It's just so cool. I'll have to sh I'll have to like take you guys over there to see it. But anyways, I stand at our back door, and that's where I get my pictures. Which the back door is right here near this room, and that's where I do all my pictures. And when I take my products out there, I set them on that shelf. And he's seen it and he brought it to me. I thought he had came and stole my twisted epic. Oh my gosh, see that? See if you do that, let it sit there. Do not wipe it away. That looks so good. Girl, palette eight. Oh, it's so pretty. Y'all are gonna be so sad that you didn't get it if they don't come back out with it. It is, it's gorgeous, I promise. I kinda hope that they come out with colors that are like this in individual colors for those that maybe don't want the entire palette. I don't know why you wouldn't. It's so pretty. By the way, our our face serums are no longer on sale that ended yesterday but um my face makeup remover balm is still on sale until sunday you guys have got i'm telling you if if you're looking for something that you can use at night to take your makeup off and you don't have to use any other product like nothing else with it where you only have to use a little bit and it takes away, it's got built in skincare with it too. So it literally melts off all the makeup, even waterproof makeup. So when mine comes in, I'm going to be showing it off. It melts it away, um, takes it off, and then that's it. You just go in with your other skincare products. You don't have to worry about washing your cleansing your face with our other cleanser at night you can just use the balm and it's got skincare built into it that helps like add vitamins back into your skin it adds hydration helps with oil control it helps with um all the things it's so good so that new balm is only on sale till sunday and it's only available in that bundle and you get our big size rose water with it it's I believe the bundle's $58, it's a 26% discount. I highly recommend it. I've seen videos after videos after videos of, of black status leaders that were able to grab it and show it off for us. You guys, it's gonna be my go-to makeup remover when it comes in. Thank you, Francisca. Look, it's palette eight. If you did not grab this palette, girl, when it comes back, you better get it. It is so good. Hi, Trisha. So, this week's bundle um, until Sunday is the is the makeup remover balm. It comes in a big jar. Like it looks like it comes in. It kind of comes in a jar like this, but bigger. Okay, and a tiny little bit. Like you just dip out like a finger size, maybe like a nickel size amount, and you rub it between your hands to warm it up. You do not wet your face, and you do not wet your hands before applying the product. You take the balm. Do like this, and then you just rub it very gently all over your face. It takes off everything. Sweat, waterproof makeup, regular makeup, whatever, whatever. Lip stain, all of it. Takes it off, and then all you do is you take a um, warm washcloth, and you sit it on your face for a second. You press the washcloth on your face, and then you just gently slide the washcloth down, and it takes everything off. You guys, it's amazing need to see videos I will send them to you 
you guys need to, this week's bundle. It is a skincare product you need to take off your makeup and then you don't have to use our cleanser at night with it. You just use your cleanser in the morning to wash your face. I'm excited and it's going to do all the things to help your skin. I'm excited for it. I can't wait. And then you get the rose water, which is one of my favorite skincare products that we have. So there's that. And we'll go ahead and spritz some rose water right now. And then I'm going to go in with some um, highlights. We're going to use, if I can find it, Benevolent Highlighter. Oh my lord, my son's out there screaming at the dogs. So I can't never get my brows to work right. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. It takes practice, girl. I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll give you a little tip. Hold on. Let me get this on. Okay, so I'll give you a little tip on brows. You take your, your brow brush, so let's just say this is the brush, and you take it beside your nose, and then right there is where your brow starts. You'll put a dot right there, okay? Then you take your brow brush or whatever you're using and go to the middle. Right there is where the arch is supposed to be, okay? Then you take it, and at the end of your nose to the end of your eye, right there is where it's supposed to end. And you do a dot. Then you just connect, connect the dots and go down. And then with the beginning of my brow, if you make it too dark, just wipe it a little bit with the brush spoily and voila. That's how I started doing mine. Kimberly, Kimberly. These are the colors I did today. It's palette eight. It is palette eight. If this comes back and you guys want this palette, please comment eight below so I can message you if it comes back. I'm hearing a rumor that it might be coming back. Oh my gosh, you guys, one second. My son is absolutely driving me insane. He's throwing stuff outside. He's gonna break a window if he doesn't quit. Give me one second. We're not done. I gotta figure out a lip. I don't know what to do on my lips yet. you yeah all right <clears throat> love the tip you're welcome you're welcome about the brows you're welcome okay oh I don't know what to do on my lips you guys what color should we do I don't know okay so we could do successful this one's back in stock They're successful. We could do successful. We could do, hold on. I don't think Snarky's available. We could do subtle. This one is back in stock. They're subtle. Um, let's see. We could do a lip powder because they are still in stock. Let me find those. Okay, or we could do complicated lip powder, which is a brown. Okay, so that's complicated. Or we could do a lighter brown, which is called compatible. That one's compatible. Something with a gold undertone pink won't work, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think these two will work either. I want to do stellar, but we don't have it, and I don't want to. 
and I'm almost out of it. I don't want to do that one. What do you guys think on these? Any any suggestions? Do you guys like complicated or do you like um what is this one? Compatible? Do you guys like that? One of those? Okay. So complicated or compatible? Which one? So complicated has shimmer, compatible is matte. The dark brown. Complicated. All right, you guys got it. I love complicated. I use it all the time. I think I used it last time I was live. <laughs> it's just so pretty. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light brown liner, and we're going to line our lips first. This is actually an eyeliner, but I like using it as a lip liner. Yeah, I'm a shimmer girl too, for sure. And I'm just going to fill in the sides. I'm glad you all said the same thing. You guys are, y'all are amazing. So this is actually an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner. But I think it, we don't, I don't think we have this one anymore. So just skip this step. I don't think we have this one anymore. I think we sold out of it. Which I'm sad because this is one of my faves. And then I just fill in the sides. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we're going to take complicated. And I go over top of the liner as well. Isn't that so pretty? Should we ombre this or leave it like it is? What do you guys think? So pretty. These lip powders are amazing too. If you guys don't have them, holy bejesus, they're so good. I need to order some more of this one because it's almost gone. All right, so do we need to ombre it or leave it? What do you guys think? I'm gonna take the hair down, take a sip of coffee. I gotta go get these swatches off my arm, but these this this palette is so pretty, you guys. I'm so glad I got it. Thank you, Secret Santa, for sending me this pretty gift. It's amazing, and I love it. I need to get my hair done <laughs> so bad. It's just so expensive. It's so expensive. All right, I'm going to jump off here. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Samantha, do you not have this one yet? Girl, you need this color. It's so pretty. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I have these on sale, too. I you guys have got to check out my flash sale. I have so much good stuff on sale. Um, anyways, I love you all. If I'm able to be back on here this weekend, I will. If not, I will see you guys. I might be able to on Sunday because my husband's leaving to go get something. And he's going to be gone literally like all day. So I'll probably be, I probably will be live Sunday. And if I come live Sunday, you already know we're going to be using these two right here. And I'm probably going to incorporate this dark, um, the dark yellow, because I think that would be good as a transition with those colors. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, I love you guys. I will see you guys later. If you need anything, let me know. Literally only $27 away from my goal for today. $27 away. I woke up this morning and had an order from someone I've never met, never talked to. Thank you, Barbara. You're amazing. Um, 
are lip powder. These are lip powders. Lip powder called Complicated. I totally forgot about the liquid eyeshadows. We could have used one of those on the lips too. Wield would have been pretty with this look. But this is the lip powder called Complicated, Marianne. So pretty. I love it. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. And if you have any questions, message me. Would love to hit my goal today. $27 away. I'm so excited. And yeah. Talk to you later. Bye.